Um, I call it derived technologies. I was talking about this in my previous video, so I'll just summarize it again. Biology is technology, or it can be seen as advanced technology. Human-made technology is mechanical, electrical, nuts and bolts. Humans can modify DNA-based biological technology. Oh, you know, it's been claimed some of the aliens are doing the same thing. You know, like uh, when the Elohim came, Elohim came here, they modified the simian animals here it's not like they created the dna but they did modify it so who created the dna I mean, that's an interesting uh, question like i said in my previous video language can be regarded as technology as well technology of communication similarly Telepathy, remote viewing, can be seen as a communications technology used by ETs and other advanced NHI, non-human intelligence. Is the, is the word ad advanced apt here? Advanced implies they are better than us, but are they? At least in the moral sense, are these beings better than us? I say no, just like we are not better than the other animals on this planet. We're different. They may have more advanced, that is, better technology than us to do certain things, but that does not make them more intrinsically worthy of value. We have sentience, feelings, a soul. I think value should be grounded in that moral value upon which considerations of respect, rights, and laws are based. Anyway, again, sort of repeating things. Human craft is nuts and bolts. Alien craft is biological. Human robots are nuts and bolts. Alien robots are biological. Example, humans can be a, an example of a created technology, biological technology. Humans communicate using language, which are words, sounds, symbols, concepts, math. Uh, you know, symbols are, a, I don't know if math is, but symbols are a, like when we try to model the world, we use symbolic representations. So, so anything we create is derived from the models we create in our minds. So our technology is a product of our hardware. Uh, our brains can only visualize some symbols, symbolic representations. So uh, we are limited by what we can understand, I guess, and create. And they are like mediated through language. We can only model things using symbols. <clears throat> Aliens communicate using consciousness. Telepathy, images, perhaps things, um, and perhaps things we don't even know or cannot know, as we lack the hardware to send and receive such communication. Maybe there is a form of communication that we simply don't understand. So when, when these beings are communicating amongst themselves, we cannot perceive their communication. So an example, maybe maybe when there is a weather event or maybe planets communicate with each other and the stars in a way that for us doesn't seem alive or but but they are communicating through some way. Um, 
I'm just using that as an example. I'm not sure if it's a good example, but imagine there are things that we don't even know because we don't have the wherewithal, the hardware to to be aware of it. There is an interesting book which touches on this idea that aliens may be doing things we cannot possibly understand. I guess this is not a unique insight. <sighs> anyway, triangle graph and oh, this, this should be in another. Anyway, uh, that should be in another uh, page actually. Do I really ha do I have to really source everything? I think a lot of what I'm saying has been said many times by many people and in many ways. There is some very important information in this video, especially the last five minutes. Yeah, I just thought it was really, really good. Um, it's basically laying it out, the breakaway civilization kept on advancing as they were not affected by the two world wars. I think of World War One, you know, there was a lot of destruction. I wonder if these people engineered World War One so they could destroy the infrastructure in Europe and um, thereby gain a technological advantage. Because if you destroy the infrastructure of Europe uh, using the First and maybe the Second World War, well, at least the First World War, then you can evolve technologically as a civilization and while you're going to keep your enemy at... Uh, so their technology may be only 50 or 100 years advanced. He's saying it's not aliens from other planets uh, or parallel universes. It's just humans with more advanced technology. The Nazis who went to Antarctica and Argentina. We can include deep underground bases in there as well. We can also think about the... Teutonic Knights. Oh, no, no, no. The Knights. The Knights. Oh, uh, Templar. I think, I think these guys, it's, it's the German connection that they don't want. They went to. I saw a video on the Y files, I think. Uh, where they, they went to Jerusalem, they discovered some information, and then they brought it back. And <sighs> there might be a long connection here. Maybe they, they, the Knights Templar found advanced technology from the Atlanteans. Uh, you know, the Elohim and the Atlanteans, and maybe they, they, they snatched it away <laughs> in Antarctica. There's a, whole, there's a whole history here. I haven't done a lot of research, but this, this whole connection might be there. This is very interesting, revealing. Does this mean there are no ETs? It's possible there are no ETs and it's just humans, and that's a possibility. But I think ETs may also be involved here uh, because of what's written in the Bible, and you know, there are like that African tribe, and because of the whistleblowers. I don't think it's just humans. But, but if it's humans, it may be humans. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna like say. It has to be ETs. I mean, you know, like I said, the ETs could be a psyop uh, to act as cover for this breakaway group. But I mean, we all we know there's a breakaway civilization. But I'm just saying, the ETs, the extraterrestrials, the non-nature, the um, interdimensional beings. I mean, it's not. It's, this is not like. It's not all. I think there is truth there, but I I could be wrong. But uh, you know. I think ETs are there. ETs are involved. That's my view until I, uh, <laughs> I get conclusive proof or something. I think ETs are also involved in interacting with our species. It's not just humans. All of those trillions in unaccounted Pentagon budget, you know, the, the Pentagon keeps on failing its uh, audit, probably went to construct the infrastructure for this breakaway group. This is such travesty. Imagine the contempt these people must have for average Americans. While you all slave away, they take your tax dollars and construct these underground civilizations 
and now want you to get into wars and kill each other so they can take over the world. These people are diabolical, wicked, Nazi eugenicist cult. There is a global war going on between these Nazis and humanity. Team Humanity is led by the Russians and includes Iran, North Korea, the Palestinians and the Houthis. Yes, the, the, these people, they are like uh, branded as evil, but I think these, these people might be fighting for humanity. Even like, I know that the, the, the MAGA people are like maligned by the mainstream, but those people are fighting back because they don't but i think their real enemy is not the deep state but it goes it goes to, it goes back to antarctica and the nazi connection i am ambivalent about china the nazis are led by the cabal so that's team humanity in my opinion and they're against the nazis which are led by the cabal or the cabal is led by the nazis you could put it that way Headquartered in Antarctica with operators all over the world, US and Europe co opted to do the dirty work. The Nazis are keeping their special eugenics improved Germanic people in underground cities in Antarctica and perhaps other dumps, deep underground military bases. Uh, maybe these people are ignorant of what's happening on surface humanity. On the surface, yeah, maybe the, uh, they might have this whole city. This, the the one world government they are seeking to imp, uh, Im, uh, impose on the surface, they might ha already have that one world control society in their underground civilization. Their civilization in Antarctica might be this centralized one world government type thing for, where everyone is like, uh, you know, connected to some digital system and people are monitored and maybe their civilization is heavily censored and heavily monitored and controlled, sort of like what's going on happening in China. And they want to take that model and, and impose it on, surface, on, on the surface. Uh, and then they're saying, okay, after we do that, we have control of everyone and everyone's connected to the central computer. Then we'll bring out the our advanced technology. It's like, it's almost like they're saying, "Well, we need to clean up the people on the top because they're very messy and un, uh, you know, rebellious. We can't have any of that rebellion. We need, we need to, we need them to, we need to clean these people up. You know, they're, they're just, it's like an elitist way of saying, oh, those people are so dirty and, you know." I guess they wanted to do it the one world government way, but since people are, f are fighting back because they don't like being controlled, the next strategy is to go to war. Okay, so since we can't create the one world government, we just, we just have to wait for them to blow each other out, try and engineer some kind of a nuclear war between Russia and America, and then we can uh, come up on the surface, and then we can create our utopia, our control system. Um, they might even have technology to get rid of the radiation. Who knows? Um, man, these people are just nuts. <laughs> it's, a, it's a controlled cult. Um, they use other people to do the fighting and the dying and the labor slavery for them. This planet is under their control. It's captive. Well, this, they don't, I don't know if that's really an accurate way of putting it. This planet is being... Um, is being manipulated and harmed by their evil desire to control control people. Yeah. It may also be, I guess, a prison planet might be another way. Of, I don't know. If and when people figure this out, I have to say if, because I don't know if that's going to happen. They, you know, if there's going to be a whole lot of calls for payback and revenge. This is another view. They should have an open out war with them. They should have had an open 
out war with them when JFK was assassinated. As was mentioned in that video, America became captured by this insidious Nazi group after that assassination. The people at the time, the military, the politicians, they wanted to avoid civil war. So they, instead of fighting a civil war, they just sort of said, okay, we won't, we won't resist. This could have happened again at 9-11. So again, 9-11, JFK assassination, 9-11. These were opportunities when there, there could have been a civil war. But at 9-11, again, they covered it up, again, blamed it on Biden. Americans, regular Americans, and the military are going to have to fight these guys. Open kinetic civil war may have to ensue. Again, you know, when... This Nazi scourge has, ha, may, has to be removed from the face of this earth once and for all. The hatred is in their heart and in their unforgiveness. If you make a deal with the devil, you can end up becoming like the devil. I think this is what happened to America. When, when they assassinated JFK, instead of uh, fighting the assassins, and which may have ended up in a civil war, they made a deal with the devil. And over time, they ended up becoming like the devil. America and the world needs to cut this scourge off from the face of the earth. Time is running out for those Nazis. People are awake. Uh, are awake to their tricks, even if they have not identified the cause of their woes. I think this is what's happened. They, they, 9-11, another inside job, like in, in that video I shared. They blamed bin Laden for it, the, the, another patsy, just like they did. How many times is this going to happen? How many times? Every time when they do something like this, if you make a deal with the devil, because this is an evil dark force. That evil dark force will corrupt you from within. And, uh, you know, this is going to be horrible. I mean, I just hope it did. <laughs> I just hope things can be solved peaceably. I mean, uh, even talking about this, is, is, it's like, a, you know, I don't feel good talking about it. I don't feel emotionally I'm like you know I'm a, I'm a human being I don't want to see violence and chaos and terror but these people are dangerous they have they have infiltrated your government institutions media law they have uh, military intelligence they, they are they are infested and infiltrated they're, they're they're in these key positions it's like a cancer on 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 the American uh, landscape it's a and and they they are like they're it's like a cult they are bound by this cultish loyalty or trauma based bonding or some some kind of a family thing where when they when the children are raised they have this, some kind of weird abuse perform i don't know what the hell how you get people to be loyal or whatever i mean i don't have any proof i'm just sort of speculating but some kind of weird loyalty that it's like a it's a secrecy it's a shame trauma based bonding kind of you got these people in these key positions and and the whole planet is held hostage by these people okay they have advanced technology and they're like terrorists a little terrorists and and yeah and i think the 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 us government tried to fight them with operation high jump and i heard uh, someone like uh, they 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 sort of tested in quote a nuke somewhere near Antarctica a, a nuclear bomb was exploded maybe there was maybe the U.S. government tried to fight back but they couldn't because they didn't have the technology or I don't know maybe they've got force field type ten technology where it's like in that video I shared uh, he sort of oh not that video another video it was sort of described as a fortress the city on the antarctica is described as a fortress like there are treaties preventing people from going there 
Uh, apparently, Google Maps cannot, you know, that place is heavily censored. You know, these people are like, they might be who, how many, a million people underneath there. Uh, the, the militarized million people with advanced technology. I mean, these people might be very dangerous. Okay. So I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and they might all be brainwashed. They might think uh, the people on the surface are all, uh, you know, maybe the, 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 the controllers in that underground civilization, they might be telling, you know, brainwashing their people with all kind of information, propaganda, telling them, oh, the surface people hate you, they're evil, they're, you know, they're, they're so vile, and, 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 you know, they might all be brainwashed. So, it's, this is like science fiction, but it's actually on, in the real world, and it's, you know, they have these UFOs and all of this stuff, and you the, the movies are kind of t trying to tell the story, but it might not be actual aliens, but actually these these breakaway group. It's very concerning. This is a very very. This is a very dangerous group. It's a supranational group. Uh, they got people in high places. They have advanced technology. This is just a very dangerous situation and you know if there's going to be a kinetic war it's going to be like i don't know how that's going to be resolved and i hope someone comes to their senses but i have a feeling these people are just like completely gone you know like how are the nazis the, the nazis if they, they fought till the very end till the very end it's like a death cult it's, it's a worshiping death uh, it's it's just not a good. They're not. They are. It's a death. You wish. You, they, this is a death cult. They're very dangerous, and I don't know what to do. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, if you make a deal with the devil, you can end up becoming like the devil. I feel like America has sort of made deals with the devil. And maybe those Nazis made a deal with the actual devil uh, and ended up becoming like, I don't know, you know, like, you know, interdimensional beings and all that. Um, 